Hi Sagittarius, it's Evelyn. Take a deep breath. Sending lots of love. I've already pre-shuffled. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as the Feminines, Mars, the Masculine, and Venus. Today is October 13th. The reading is for the second half of October 2020. And so for everybody watching, for the best and highest good of all these concerned, what is it we need to know? What do we need to learn for Sagittarius today? Sagittarius, it feels more relaxed. They've, yesterday, Libra and Scorpio were both a lot of stress coming up. I don't feel as much stress coming up with Sagittarius. <sighs> Let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all is concerned and fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light, and so it is. Okay, here we go, Sagittarius. Let's get these out of the way. One more shuffle. Sagittarius. <sighs> For the second of half of October 2020, Sagittarius. <sighs> Sagittarius. Okay. First card out of the gate for you is the Ten of Cups reversed. So some kind of emotional ending, ending of a cycle, end of a family or just general unhappiness for everyone. The challenge is the King of Pentacles. And he's upright, so he's taking care of people, he's responsible, he's got it all together financially. The foundation for you is the Three of Pentacles, so the workplace looks fine. In the recent past, you have the Two of Pentacles upright, perhaps juggling, keeping your eye on the prize, juggling the rainbow trying to keep a, high, a higher vibration. And in your crowning position is the star. Wow, dreams coming true, healing, dreaming, shining your light, becoming a star perhaps. Dreams come true. What's coming up for you is the Knight of Wands, and this is definitely Sag energy, running in passionately or a lot of passionate movement. It could just be going out and getting things done today, going to work out, doing errands, perhaps pursuing someone on a date. You see yourself as the Nine of Cups reverse. You may feel like you're unlucky. This is someone, it could be a drinker, a drinker so maybe of alcohol issues. Um, but it also could just be not getting your wish or just feeling unhappy when you're by yourself. What's around you or how others might see, how others might see you as, as the fool, but I love it, the fool when it's upright. That's someone who's got an open heart and they're free to take a leap to do whatever they please. Maybe people, if they see you this way, they may see you as a fool for feeling this way, unhappy. Or maybe they feel like you're, you perhaps squander things that they wouldn't necessarily squander. But this is, they see you as someone free, but you see yourself as unhappy, not getting your wish, dissatisfied, perhaps dissatisfied with the work that you do, even though the work in itself is fine. The block that you have has to do with the Six of Cups, which is the soulmate energy, happiness, nostalgia, looking back at happy memories of childhood, or perhaps a soulmate, a sibling, a best friend. This is the block right now. Maybe you don't think it's possible to have that kind of relationship. We end up here at the Four of Swords, either not sleeping and rising above or awakening and coming out. And what is the um, connection to what's left hanging in limbo at the end of your read? Is the Knight of Swords reversed? This could be someone who's holding their tongue, but they definitely have something to say, or literally lashing out. This could be verbal abuse, absolutely. Okay, Or somebody wants to verbally abuse somebody. <laughs> All right, so what's left hanging in limbo at the end of your read is the Eight of Pentacles, which is working, doing your work. Maybe you do creative work. Maybe you're working into the night, working to align with your true desires. 
This could be somebody studied religiously. This could be some, someone who's studying Judaism. Or maybe they're getting bat mitzvahed or bar mitzvahed, and they have to focus on that. So you will get another card, but you won't see it till the end of the read, and it's probably going to be more than one, depending on what that is. There's a lot of purple coming up. Purple rain has come up so much in the past two days. Purple rain. All right, so interesting. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is the Five of Cups reversed, and we're going to give you a little backstory of what's been going on, and then we're going to get into the read. So let's see here. All right, so we start with the tower reversed, and that's Scorpio energy. This is either avoiding a disaster, perhaps lots of little disasters, but nothing major, or literally this is after a sudden event already happened, right? The cleanup and the aftermath of sudden events, explosions, eruptions, epiphanies, whatever it is, okay? And after that, we had the finding of peace, moving away to peace. So Matt, perhaps you went on vacation. Then we have the King of Cups, who's upright, very much a loving parent or family man in unconditional love. And then we have the Ten of Wands, which is carrying the weight of the world, the Atlas energy. And you see there's some deer in the headlight energy. They just can't take much more of this. It's just too much. And then we have the High Priestess Reverse, which is someone who's not using their intuition or a secret that's come out and feeling imprisoned by it and needing to get over, get over yourself perhaps, or get over a loss, regret, guilt, or shame, getting over the past. And this is getting over it. So whereas you were feeling that grief, you're now getting over it. After feeling imprisoned by a secret that came out, it, the imprisonment actually took you out of the grief though, right? It took your mind to a different place. Maybe you learned something from that. So the recent past is that two of pentacles upright, juggling, performing, doing the daily grind, trying to keep your vibration high, perhaps chasing the rainbow. And then the foundation is a solid workplace. So let's see what's going on with all that. There's definitely work going on. All right, so why does Sagittarius have the five of cups reversed? All right, and the page of wands just slid down my leg. So this is inspiration and maybe not wanting to let something get away. And, after, and now getting over self, after inspired to go through a split, a divide, this could be inspired to find out more information or to find out what the lie, what's the real truth? Because this is a lie. All right, you wanna get to the bottom of it. This could be perhaps going on a journey to find the truth. Okay, so recent past is the uh, Two of Pentacles upright, juggling. Why, is Sag why does Sagittarius have the Two of Pentacles in the recent past? <sighs> okay, we have the Ace of Cups upright, the Six of Pentacles reversed, and the Queen of Pentacles upright. This is some kind of imbalanced, it looks like she's offering love, but the person on the other end hasn't been returning it because there's an inequity here. It's not balanced, it's not fair. So the Queen of Pentacles is very solid, stable, grounded, and loving. But in, in an e unequal relationship, or perhaps got scammed, or perhaps in debt. But it looks like emotional or spiritual debt because she's offering big love here. But maybe she shouldn't be because maybe it hasn't been returned to her. So, and it looks like a a two-way situation here where someone might be juggling two people so by accepting her love that would put the other person in a two-person situation so that might be an issue but she is upright and it is it is real love so the foundation is the three of pentacles and there is um, a happy ending or a happy emotionally fulfilling situation at work so the workplace may be very emotionally fulfilling to the King of Wands, which definitely could be Sagittarius. So that's out of, not in question. So the work is satisfying to you, but you may feel left out in the cold with the family, but this could be part of the business or community. This is feeling like left out of the crowd, you know, not included. 
This could be the dream family, right? The dream business, the dream community, maybe a legacy that you want to create, but maybe you feel like you're, just, you're always falling short of this dream or legacy that you want to create. So why is that if you truly enjoy what you do? So we have emotional fulfillment here, but here's the opposite, a lack of fulfillment, perhaps an emotional ending. Why do we have the Ten of Cups in the middle there for Sag here? All right, coming clean, getting clean. This could be addictions where you're getting clean, literally. Cleaning up the act, cleaning up the space, right? Telling someone what you did. This is frustration. This could be, you know, literally sexually cheating or creatively cheating or cheating yourself without no growth, not allowing yourself to grow. There's emotional dissatisfaction here or an ending of a family situation. There definitely could be a breakup here or a dissolution of a partnership. Maybe that's because there's no sex life there or someone cheated. That's a possibility for sure. The challenge here is the king of, of pentacles upright. So why do we have that? Well, we have the four of wands upright, we have the knight of pentacles reversed, and then we have the six of swords upright. So he's got a very stable home, but someone's not working or someone's disabled or someone's being stubborn and refusing to move or work and perhaps always going on vacation. This also could be, um, you know, be split up with someone who's refusing to work. This could be in a divorce situation where you have to pay because they don't want to work. And this could be someone who needs some balls to go out and into the workplace. This also could be passing kids back and forth or literally someone who's always vacationing or going on vacation now. This could be you taking off from work. Um, or it could be the king of pentacles taking off from work. Um, to take to go on vacation but again it could be passing children back and forth so feeling oh thank god i don't have to work when your kids go back because you know it's a lot of work to take care of your kids so it also could be someone who got laid off or fired from work but i'm not really getting that energy so much i mean this is really peaceful energy this can be celebratory over here and vacation, right? Not working. So it definitely can be a break or vacation, but there's an unhappy family or emotional situation here. So it's like getting away from all that. The, um, why is the star crowning? Somebody's free. Free to daydream and reap the rewards of your efforts. Perhaps after juggling or perhaps, yes, it's like you're getting away from all that. Perhaps dealing with somebody who's really moody or alcoholic or over-emotional about things or just someone who's really sad or depressed. So, you're, you're, it's like your dream's coming true, getting away from all this. Maybe you're tired of sitting home and doing nothing, the daily grind, but not what you truly wanted to do. And it's like you have an opportunity to, to, to grasp your dreams. Or maybe you just need to be free, be single again, to pursue your dreams. Maybe the Queen of Cups is the one who's free and being the star and pursuing her dreams after being unhappy in a relationship or is unhappy working. She doesn't like the job that, or the work that she does or she doesn't like being home juggling all the household stuff. And now she's freeing herself, freeing herself from reaping rewards to go pursue her, her true dreams. What's coming up here is the Knight of Wands. Why? It's upright. We have the Page of Swords reversed and the Sun reversed. This is somebody unhappy or sick. This is negative self-talk. It's a child who talks back, right? Bad kid. <laughs> this also could be somebody who's sick. And this is somebody who's just immature in their communications. This could be someone giving someone the silent treatment as well. This Page of Swords reversed could be not talking to the Knight of Wands who's got get up and go and always does exactly what they want. Maybe this person doesn't know how to express themselves properly in order to get what they want. They may be going through detox or literally, you know, getting over an illness. But this could be getting over addictions as well. This could be overexposed, drained, sick, um, or in need of, desperate need of sunshine or to spend time with the children or needing time away from the kids after they're crazy around you. All right. And there's definitely addiction energies here to codependencies that are being detoxed.
And we have Leo and Capricorn there, both reversed. So as far as the major cards, we have Pisces reversed in the underlying energy. We have Aquarius upright, perhaps Sagittarius. We have Aries upright again. Did I say Aries already? No, I'm sorry, Aquarius. So Aquarius upright, Aries upright, Sagittarius perhaps, and um, we have the Knight of Swords up here too. So any kind of air sign or fire sign with the Knight doesn't have to just be Sagittarius. It can be Leo or um, Aries as well. And then the Knight over here who's reversed is an air sign energy. So it could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini that's reversed and that could re involve work here so you might have a, a pissed off air sign at work which makes it very difficult you see yourself as the nine of cups reversed why and this could be Sagittarius after having detoxed like doing much better why do you have the nine of cups reversed okay so we have the high priestess and the knight of swords this could be the messenger of truth this is the secret keeper Perhaps your own psychic abilities, or a Pisces can be Virgo as well with that virginal energy. So also be a religious person, but someone's rushing in with a message or the truth, and but this person's per acting like they're not affected by it, whether they are or not. Um, but there, for Sagittarius, there's unhappiness with this information because there's very there's defensive war energy behind this. And who was, I was just getting that today. I forget which read it was for. Them are fighting words. So that might have to do with you, Sagittarius. Why do we have the fool here? All right, again, there's new information that came in. Clarity in a situation around jealousy, moodiness, insincerity, someone using people, right? Offering love to use them to get them to do what they want, but don't really care about them. So it could be information or clarity about this energy that, free, that frees you or frees someone around you. And this could be two kids as well because we have the Page of Pentacles coming out too. There could be two unhappy kids, the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Pentacles reversed. This could be someone who always needs someone to walk them in to everything. They're afraid to do things on their own. Someone in need of help, money, opportunity, or perhaps never learns their lesson. Or this can be an opportunist user person. This can be one person. But someone's either free from them or this person's now freed from themselves. So why do we have the Six of Cups there as the block for you? Somebody's choosing a new path to be love or to be the King of Cups. King of Cups can be a water sign, so it can be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. This is representative of unconditional love. So this could be choosing a new path of a higher love. And this was definitely looking at the higher prize, the higher vibration. And this could be um, what your block is. Because this is that higher love, that innocent love. That's a block for you. Choosing a new path of being a loving man and being innocent. Maybe because you feel you're too broken to be innocent. That could be your block, Sagittarius. But that's just not true. The Four of Swords is reversed here, either not sleeping and rising above it or awakening and coming out to your dreams coming true after feeling guilt and shame, perhaps loss and regret, not letting go of the past, and now on a quest, or perhaps a need to confront, like someone who doesn't like to fight needs to confront the Queen of Wands who's been looking the other way. So why do we have the Knight of Swords reversed? Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords reversed for Sagittarius? The weight of the world, this is Atlas energy. Working too hard, burdened, right? Resisting when there needs to be a release here. It's like somebody released themselves, dumping all the burdens on you or vice versa, or the need to release all of these burdens okay look at all that burden this is like thank god you have the release here because if this was upright too this would be even worse this is like and also this could be someone in the middle who's released themselves amidst all these other people who choose to stay in that these are, this is 10 this is the weight of the world upon your shoulders and this is deep suffering and silence 
you know, stress, purging, up nights, not sleeping, headaches, unhappy, purging, but maybe finding release in purging. But this, you need, you need to let go of the nines. You don't need to feel that. And you may, you, depending on which side of this you're on, you may not understand how can this person feel released when there's still all of this going on. So that could be you or you could be the other person. Because the Knight of Swords reverse is someone who's either holding their tongue or lashing out. But it doesn't look like this person's lashing out. It looks like they're keeping it to themselves. And that definitely can be an air sign person. All right, so why do we have the Eight of Pentacles here? Someone feels defenseless to the energies coming in or to attacks, feeling ganged up on. About and maybe that's why you're working late at night to get out of the house. All right, this is feeling can be boredom and apathy, but also be grounding and integrating what you've just expanded and learned. This attack, taking yourself out of the situation in order to ground and integrate, in order to level up and see this for what it is. Is it is this something you resonate resonate with or not? Is it the same old, same old, or is this some a gift from God? And you need, it's like you go to work at night to get space from everything, all the chaos, in order to figure things out. You may be holding on to this sovereign energy. This could also be your own independence. But this is someone who has everything they need except for the one person to share it with. And they may or may not want someone to share it with. So is that you or someone that you're interested in? So let's, let's see what come up, came up for um, Sagittarius after that. We have the world, that's completion of a cycle, which goes along with the Ten of Cups in the middle here, reversed, just so done. The cycle is over. The King of Swords is reversed, though, not in his truth. Negative self-talk or lying. This can be lying, this can be verbal abuse. There's a lot of royal energy here with the purple, so someone could feel very entitled to what they do. They may feel better than someone else. And then we have the Page of Swords, who's just like their father here. Right? Like father, like child, like picking up the same negative traits that they carried in from their family. And then we have an announcement, a judgment, a wake-up call. This could be someone getting called out. Or this could be the end of that cycle of the father-child negative attributes. And this could be a wake-up call. The hermit, either a parent who's losing their mind you feel like you're losing your mind or this is literally coming out of isolation with what you've learned the energetic exchange arrows of love expressing feelings and desires a lot of communication or travel going back and forth it's staying above the fray coming out and expressing your feelings and being strong Let's clarify, why do we have the world upright along with the King of Swords reverse and the Page of Swords reverse? What's that all about? Look at that wounded warrior energy, perhaps in a breakup or a lack of affection between parent and child, because the lovers doesn't just have to be about sexual lovers. It's about affection, it's physical affection. So there's some kind of issue between father and child, or because of your father relationship, there's an issue in your relationship, a breakup. Feeling a feeling wound and that you have to protect your old wounds instead of letting go and being present because you're no longer your old wounds. You're now the culmination of those, so you're better than that. This is someone to disconnect or lack of affection or break up, and this can be a divorce. This can be justice. This can be a Libra energy. This is Gemini reversed. But there is a completion of a cycle here. So letting go of a cycle. Why do we have the page of swords reversed? expression of feelings. This is a father and child lashing out at each other. There's a completion of a cycle, but there's still some negativity there to release. But this is positive here. This is, there's love behind the words, right? Because they both are affected by the same family negative traits. And maybe being able to identify with each other. Maybe they're both not speaking. Or maybe they're both too patient 
right? Maybe, maybe they're both of a higher love and, and just want to express love and feelings and be patient. At night, maybe someone, um, maybe they're both psychic and they both get um, see angels at night. And maybe don't like to talk about it because nobody else in the family believes in that kind of stuff. So why is the judgment call here? There's some kind of rebirth or wake-up call to whatever wasn't working in the past. This is, can be child abuse in your, from your childhood or just negative memories from your childhood. It could be a falling out with a best friend, a sibling, a lover, or having a hard time with your kids. And now there's an announcement being made. This is an issue at work. Either financial issues, not getting along at work, perhaps with a soulmate, or a third party through work. That's a negative situation, but it's a soulmate card. So somebody might be announcing this at work, could be a third party situation through work. And there's a hermit here, whether this is a professional, someone getting advice, or this is a Virgo. So why do we, and then we have the um, hermit reversed here. So why is the hermit reversed? All right, somebody's deliberating, maybe made a poor decision or choking on their words or choking back their words or needs to swallow their pride because this needs to be upright. There needs to, a decision needs to be made. We can't make decisions for other people. People have to make decisions for themselves. But it shouldn't be up, it shouldn't be reversed here. Definitely needs, um, someone needs to swallow their pride or maybe someone spoke too soon and they're choking on their words now. But this is someone hanging out, trying to see a new perspective, but ha struggling with it. So then we have that Eight of Wands and the Strength card here. And why is that? There just definitely could be an energetic connection here between you and this Virgo energy. We have Leo here too. Somebody not sleeping or levitating at night or rising above or literally going through an awakening process and coming out about it. We have the Hermit Reverse too, which is coming out. This is heartbreak, separation, perhaps some surgery that you're having trouble getting over or past. And also I'm getting purple rain. I just said so much purple was coming up and purple rain. Purple rain, purple rain. So that's coming up. Expression of feelings, love, arrows of love. A lot of communications or travel back and forth. but above the fray, above the sheep herd. Being strong, she's like the wind. So that movie's coming up too. Don't put baby in the corner. An offer of time, money, and effort, a new life perhaps. Perhaps offering a loan or paying back something to the king of swords to make him happy again. So it might have been a fight over money maybe it wasn't the money it was just that someone betrayed them like they didn't pay them back when they were supposed to or they didn't give them the reward or the pay or the pay that was owed to them or the bonus that they were promised and now something's being offered to pacify the king of swords upright which can be you or can be an air sign around you sag or it's you with a lot of air in your chart you do have a lot of air on you here and pisces or virgo and after the King of Swords is the Ten of, of Swords. This is either ending the pain or a painful end in betrayal. This can be also back pain and associated back treatments like massage and acupuncture, things like that. But it looks like more of a betrayal because it looks like he's finally getting paid back or given the time, money, and effort after a separation or heartbreak, coming out about it and walking away from the situation and within. Okay, so... The bottom of the deck now is the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So we would have started this readout with this. The Empress was upright. The child feeling rejected. You know, this could be Dark Mother as well. The child feeling rejected, shy, or um, just vulnerable in general, or spoiled and entitled because their mother's the Empress. And their father is the Emperor reverse. So that could be someone abusive, right? Out of control with their power, abusing their power, or going through ego death, retiring, stepping down in a bold move, in the downturn, the slowdown, the twist of fate. So that's where we came into this read. And I'm going to pull you an energy card as well for Sagittarius. Yeah, so it's definitely something that's so over. It's been, may have been over multiple times, and now it's just done. 
work seems to be, the workplace itself seems to be fine. It seems to be emotionally fulfilling, perhaps for Sagittarius, but there's some air signs that are giving you a hard time there. Maybe there's some psychic abilities or religious things that are affecting your workplace or your family life. Um, and if you're the Knight of Wands, you're getting it all back together, but you're not happy by yourself. You might have split up recently or left a job. And although things are good, it looks like the workplace is fine, though. It looks like you're not, just not happy alone or you didn't get your wish or you have drinking issues or, sad, or air sign issues. And the block about about true love, innocent love. You have an issue with that. Maybe you don't believe it can actually happen, that there is such a thing as unconditional love. But you want to choose that new path, rising above and coming out. The garden and the gate. 30 is the union card, the four of wands. Someone who has anxieties or fears about leaving the house. There's two little butterflies trying to get them to go, but they're afraid. And that could be you or it could be a child with, that you have. And they may have the same anxieties that you had, but you may be, you know, more healed than they are. But here's the caring connection. So then this could be that father and child energy of the higher love coming out here. You also have the thinking woman. So again, this is someone intellectualizing, um, wanting to use their intellectual capacity. 47 is that seven of cups, having options or maybe too many um, Maybe there's too many things you want to learn about in the world. And this could be the person freeing themselves. This could be an Aquarius who wants to pursue their own dreams after perhaps being home. So we have this energy of a childlike energy, afraid to leave the house, um, caring connections here of a higher love. And there's a lot of feminine energy here. And this could even be like another child who's got a boyfriend or girlfriend. And this is the mother who's now free to go pursue her own things because her kids are old enough to take care of themselves. And the bottom of the deck is rest and rejuvenation, which is coming up as the masculine energy taking a break. 19 is the sun. This could be a masculine taking a vacation. And then here's the feminine energies in the family. Okay. Somebody, and this, this, I... I don't have any reversals in this deck, but this came up reversed here. So that means that someone's gotten over their anxieties, but this child has the same anxieties that she has. So she needs to be taught what she learned in order to release her anxieties. Okay. So that's coming up. And the masculine energy is just taking a break. And this is their stra the strategy is coming up behind there, journaling, making a plan about where to go next with the 21, which is the world. So it's taking vacation after completing a cycle. Okay, so there's a major cycle that's just completed for you, Sagittarius. And just on both sides, whether it's masculine or feminine, the masculine is taking vacation and making a plan. The feminine is um, pursuing intellectual pursuits and perhaps children who still need, issue, need, to help, need help with issues around anxiety. And perhaps kids who have boyfriend or girlfriend, you know, becoming more independent, that kind of stuff. So Make sure you drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature. And as always, rise and be loved, guys. I will see you very soon. Take care.